coming to you from the St. Clair Sports Park on the beautiful campus of St. Clair College in Windsor, Ontario, as we are about to begin game two of a twin bill. In our first game, the Saints improved to 21 and 0 as they beat the Seneca Sting 13 to 3. Sting have now fallen to 5 and 16, dropping them in the seventh place in the OCAA standings. My name is Dan Dominguez, and I, along with the We Digital crew, will be bringing you all the action during the final weekend of OCAA Women's Softball. Here's our weather forecast, 13 degrees Celsius, cool night, 20 kilometer hour winds as we saw heading to the outfield, hit on a couple homers by Amy Clayton. Looks like a beautiful sunny day coming tomorrow. We're getting wind gusts at 30 today, so those players are cold, the camera operator is even colder. Koitsopoulos is going to lead things off for the Sting. She's going to be playing center field out of Pickering. Koitsopoulos had two hits for the Sting in the first game. A strikeout, had a run scored. On the mound, Brianna Kressler. Kressler had a big day offensively in the first game. Four hits. On the mound this year, through 31 innings, 44 strikeouts. A minuscule .23 ERA in her fourth season. Kressler taking her final warm-up tosses. We're going to get going here in game two very shortly. Koitsopoulos is going to lead things off for the Sting. Anissa Hill, Katie Allen, River Johnson, cleanup hitter, Cassidy Warner, Chloe Furco, Avery Thompson, the seven hitter, Alyssa Vanderwerf, She's going to be pitching and batting eighth, and Taylor Riche at first base. Defensively, Kressler's battery mate, Tara Thiessen. Uh, Jacqueline Uchin at first. Shailen Murphy at short, Cowan at third. First pitch ready to go. Lexi DiCarlo at second. Ball one low. Julia Brousseau out and left. Balls are in center. Left the in right. Top of the first, second game of the doubleheader. Fastball misses outside. The Saints looking to extend their perfect season, 21-0 on the regular season. Add that to five wins and a national championship in the CCSA championship tournament held here last week where they defeated the Western Mustangs 9-0 in the gold medal game. The 2-0 pitch. Chopper just over the pitcher's head. Murphy over the first base in time for the out. Number 14, Hill. One down now in the top of the first. Big Chopper just got over the hill of Kressler. Murphy in the right spot. Fires over the Uchin for the first out. So Anissa Hill now out of John Fraser Secondary School, out of Mississauga, Ontario. Fastball down on the turf, ball one. Kressler wants to talk to her young catcher. Tara Thiessen, Leamington High School, from Wheatley, Ontario, the tall five foot 10 catcher. The 1-0 pitch. Foul off the screen. Strike one. One and one. One and down. Nobody on base. Early first inning action here at St. Clair Sports Park. St. Clair College campus. In Windsor, Ontario. Cold night. Wind still gusting out the center field. Kressler rocks back and fires a high fastball. Strike two. He'll chase that one up in the zone. Unable to catch up. Yuchin over at first base. Playing in front of the bag. Inside corner, just missed. Two and two. Hill was 0 for three. She reached base twice on a pair of errors. Scored one of the three Seneca Sting runs. Fastball misses. Run the count to full. So 
So full count here, top of the first. One out, nobody on. Kressler rocks and fires. Fouled back off the glove. We'll reset for the full count pitch. Payoff pitch now from Kressler. Strike three, makes the tag to complete the out for out number two. Yeah, <laughs> Shortstop number three, Katie. She swung Cameron. through that one. Tisa couldn't quite squeeze it. She alertly picks the ball up and applies the tag for the second out. That'll bring up the three hitter, Katie Allen, from Cole Pitt Settlement in New Brunswick. Her first year with the team. First pitch to the screen, ball one. So on the mound in that first game, we saw Copley get her 12th win of the season. She's now one short of tying assistant coach Allison Telfer for the all-time single season lead of 13. We'll see if she can get that tomorrow when the Saints play the Conestoga Condors. Fouled off to the right side, off the screen. One and one. All sorts of records falling for the Saints both offensively and defensively. Saints actually gave up a surprising three runs in the first game. Not too many teams have gotten that many against the Lady Saints. A little dribbler back to the mound. Kressler flips over no runs, no for hit, the easy no out. On One, two, three inning. We're going to go with the bottom of the first inning. No score. We'll be back here on We Digital. is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. Shaylin Murphy is going to lead things off for the Saints, followed by Sierra Falzer, Rana Kressler, Amy Clayton is going to be the designated Leading player at the cleanup spot, Jacqueline Uchin, followed by Judy Lefebvre, Raya Cowan, Lexi DiCarlo, Murphy. Julia Brousseau, and Tara Thiessen, catcher and Lex. And don't forget, we have OCAA Men's Baseball Championship, October 20th to 22nd at Lacoste Park. The Saints will be in that tournament beginning next Thursday. I believe the Saints have the two seed right now, battling with Humber for that top spot in the men's standings. Murphy now, one of those record breakers. Her and Kressler now hold the single season run record. Pop fly, shallow center, sliding catch for the first out. Koitsopoulos slides on her knees for that first out. Just underneath that one. Good track by the center fielder Koitsopoulos to record the first out. As I was saying, Kressler and Murphy have both have tied for the lead for the OCAA single season run record at 38 and counting. I'll bring Balzer up. She was two for three, three runs scored in that first ball game. Out of LaSalle, Ontario. The 1 0 pitch. Inside misses. Alyssa Vanderwerf on the mound from Oshawa, Ontario. Five foot three from Maxwell Heights High School in her third year. Misses again. Falls behind 3 0. Saints have had the green light most of the night with a lot of success. 
Hit hard, foul ball down the third baseline. With their 14 hits in the first game, the Saints now stand at 276 hits. The OCAA record stands at 290. Be close tonight, if they can't get it tonight, it's something they should accomplish tomorrow against the Conestoga Condors. Big hole up the middle, shortstop playing on the third base, to the third base side. She takes ball four. Your pitcher number 13, Brianna Kressler. So the pitcher up now, Brianna Kressler. Big game in game one. Two doubles, two singles, three runs scored, six RBIs. Hit hard in the left field, base hit. One hopper to the left fielder. Hill gets it in quickly. The designated player number 55. Kressler Amy with a single. Clayton. She was on, jumped on that first pitch, which she did a lot in that first ball game as well. She now has her fifth hit of the day. Balls are on second. Kressler on first. Amy Clayton hits another one deep to left field. Over the scoreboard. Again, her third home run of the day. Her first of this ball game. And the Saints take a three to nothing lead. Amy Clayton hits her ninth home run of the season and now has the record 53 RBIs in a single season and counting. That's her second bomb over the scoreboard, a no-doubter. The third baseman can just shake her head as the ball into the parking lot. The Saints off to a three-nothing lead. Hard shot up the middle. Base hit for Yuchin. Now back to right fielder number 18, Judy LaFleur. Jumping on first pitches. The Saints hitters jump all over the sting. Three nothing here in the bottom of the first. A little chopper right side, dribbles foul. Lafleur out of Essex, Ontario, her second year at the college. One on, one strike, one out. Takes low for ball one. One and one. Yuchin on first. Lafleur looks at one outside for ball two. Yuchin on first. It's ready for that 2-1 pitch. In there, right side, foul ball past the first baseman. She hit it hard, just right of the bag. The Saints on the board early, 3-0, extending their runs in RBI record in OCAA play. Off the hand, center fielder moves over, drops the ball in center field. Tried to go for a basket catch there, had a little bit of trouble, and the ball falls in. That's an error on center fielder Alexa, Alexia Koitsopoulos. She looked like she was there in time, just misplayed a little bit. Kind of clunked it off the heel, and the runner advances a second. So first and second now, one out. Strike outside corner to Raya Cowan. Raya in her fourth year out of LaSalle, Ontario. Sandwich secondary alum. Little roller third base. Fobbles. Not in time. Cassidy Warner couldn't come up with that cleanly. By the time she did, not in time to get Cowan over at first base. Lafleur moves to second. Yuchin moves over to third base. And with one out, the Saints have the bases loaded for Lexi DiCarlo. DiCarlo hitting 320. She's playing second base today out of Amherstburg, Ontario. General Amherst High School. Off the pitcher, in the arm. That's gonna be a single. 
They're going to hold the runner, make sure the pitcher's okay. Umpire calls time. They're going to go check on Alyssa Vanderwehr. She looked like she caught that off the glove hand. Just on the forearm. Yeah, just on above the wrist, just above the glove. Infielders retrieve, retrieve it, and that's a RBI single for Lexi DiCarlo. They're talking to <laughs> their pitcher to make sure she's okay. The third year, five foot three righty out of Oshawa, Maxwell Heights High School. Looks like she's okay. She's gonna stay in there for stay in this ball game. Now batting for your Saints, the left fielder number two, Julia. So Julia Brousseau now Brousseau. playing left field, hitting 323, Lakeshore, Ontario. Comes up here with the bases loaded and only one out. Pitch high misses. Four hits already on the board for the Saints. Vanderworth rocks and fires, misses high, 2-0. and oh. Koitsopoulos in center trying to stay warm. Little pop fly just over the second baseman's head. That's going to fall in. Everybody moves up a base. Second baseman couldn't Your track that ball. Right fielder Avery Thompson couldn't get in time. So that's another hit. And the Saints are rolling. Five runs, five hits in this first inning. Top of the order again. Murphy, the only out of the inning, a fly out. She's going to look to redeem herself early in this one. Hit the center field. She's there at the catch. Tag through the plate. She is safe. Catcher can't find it. Runner moves over the second. Runner, all runners advance on the sacrifice fly. So she flies out the center field. Cowan scores on the play. The Saints lead it now, six to nothing. So second and third now, two outs. Balter, she walked her first time. She came around to score on the big home run. Grounder the short, flips across the diamond, in time to record the third out. Big first inning for the Saints. They lead it six to nothing. We'll be back in the second inning Warriors here on We Digital. Every child should learn how to swim for health, for safety, and for fun. That's why we've started Canada's Swim Team. Learn to swim at least 25 meters on your own, and you're on the team. Canada's Swim Team. It's that easy. Help make us the world's largest swim team by adding your name at getswimming.ca. Ask your parents first. Swimming, the only sport that can save your life. We're back here at St. Clair Sports Park, the campus of St. Clair College. The St. Clair Saints lead 6-0 after an inning. Game two of the doubleheader. The Saints won the first game 13-3. And don't forget, the Saints have another doubleheader here at the St. Clair Sports Park. They'll face off against the Conestoga Condors beginning at 2 o'clock with the second game starting around 4 o'clock. And at 7 o'clock at Acumen Stadium, the St. Clair Saints football team will take do battle against the Hamilton Hurricanes at 7 p.m. That's the Ontario Football Conference semifinals at 7 p.m. As River Johnson steps into the batter's box. If you can't get to the 
college to watch the games, you can get all the action on WeDigital.ca. Check out the Wii Digital Facebook page for all the links. And any games you miss, you can catch on Wii Digital or the Wii Digital YouTube page. So strike one now. River Johnson, the catcher, fastball misses. One and one. Kressler on the hill, rocks and fires, high fastball, blows it fire. One and two now, leading off the top of the second inning. Fastball hit hard to center field. Balter's there, sliding catch on her knees for out number one. Third base, number 17, Cassidy Warner. Johnson hit that hard to center. Balter just had to judge it. Comes in late with a knee slide on the turf. One away. Cassidy Warner now. She was one for three. A single strikeout and a ground out in the first game. Misses high with the fastball. Cassidy Warner, her second year out of Georgetown, Ontario. Tall, five foot ten right-handed batter. Christ the King Catholic Secondary School. High pop fly right side. Uchin's over. She's got room. Makes the play. Two down now. Top of the second. Second base number nine. Being the Seneca Sting batters at bay. She leans back, rocks and fires. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Blows it by her. They throw it around for the third out. As we head to the bottom of the second inning, Saints lead 6 nothing. We'll be back here on We Digital. Did you know that the most severe injuries in our region are motor vehicle crashes? 65% of road fatalities last year were directly the result of distracted driving. 90% of injuries arriving in our emergency rooms are preventable. Our message to you this summer is put down the phone. Just drive. Let's work together to keep our trauma stretchers empty. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm just going to hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just... Tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. And we're back on a cold Friday evening in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. The St. Clair Saints lead 6 nothing. The fans on the hill all bundled up in blankets trying to stay warm. Alyssa Vanderwerf back on the mound. She's out of Oshawa. Deep in the left field, curving, foul. <laughs> Kressler singled and scored her first time out of Kitchener, Ontario, her fourth season. Up high, misses. So she's a perfect five for five over the doubleheader today. Just misses. And Kressler now leads teammate Shaylin Murphy 39 to 38 for the single season runs lead. They're going to be battling for that all season, all weekend long on this final weekend of OCAA softball play. Hit hard in the right center field. Quetzopoulos going over. Makes the catch. Good job by the center field, Quetzopoulos, to track that one down. Long strides into the right center field, saving a sure double. And now big Amy Clayton, nine home runs on the season. A three run bomb, her third of the day. Hard hit to third, fires across the diamond. In time at first. First base, number three, Jacqueline Yu. Amy just couldn't beat that one out. So don't forget, tomorrow night we have OFC semifinal action, 7 p.m. at Acumen Stadium. 
the St. Clair Saints will take on the Hamilton Hurricanes for the center semifinal matchup. The Saints beat Hamilton twice during the regular season. One home and one way, one away. They did good battle, both games pretty close. That'll be a good matchup here at the college at Acumen Stadium tomorrow night. Another flare hit out the right center field. Koitsopoulos makes the play. Koitsopoulos with a big inning in center field. The Saints go down no in order. No one left on base for you. Moving back for the third inning. Saints lead it six to nothing here on We Digital. Mont's On Time Express has all of your delivery needs covered with a fleet of 50 vehicles, including cargo and sprinter vans, along with 24 foot straight trucks. It doesn't matter if the freight is big or small. Mont's On Time Express can guarantee safe and prompt delivery service throughout Canada and the United States. Licensed to broker freight throughout North America, Mont's On Time Express features same day delivery service along with a state of the art dispatching system and live GPS tracking assistance. Mont's is fully insured and Canadian bonded and has certifications with FAST, CTAT, PIP, and SmartWay. Mont's On Time Express is open 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. To get your delivery moving, contact Mont's On Time Express at www.montsontime.ca or call toll free at 877-250-8282. Leading off the top of the third for the Saints. And we're back here right for the top of the third two, inning. Avery Thompson. St. Clair Saints lead six to nothing. Taking on the Seneca Sting. Last weekend of regular season action. Seneca still battling for a playoff spot. They fell to seventh place with that loss. They have a big doubleheader tomorrow against Lambton. If somebody could sweep that doubleheader, that'll go a long way in making their playoff chances, keeping them alive. Kressler still on the mound. Little flare out to the right side. Jumping kill off her glove. Couldn't quite make the catch. She was there, it was in and 22. out of DiCarlo's glove. Alyssa Vanderwerf. Now go down as an error on the second base, and she jumped, didn't really need to jump there, and that caused the ball to pop out of her glove. So the pitcher now, Vanderwerf, comes to the plate. She squares, pulls it back, runner goes. Hook slide in there, safe at second base. Scoring for the bunt and had the Saints D moving around. She pulls back. One hopper from Tara Thiessen. Not quite in time. Squares again. Reaches out. Thiessen drops it. Kicks it. Throw to third. Safe. Thiessen have a little trouble squeezing that mitt. So the leadoff hitter all the way over to third base now. That's Avery Thompson. The pitcher, Alyssa Vanderwerf, up the bat. Cowan way in at third base now. A little flare out to the right side, foul. Saints lead 6-0. Vanderwerf, third year out of Oshawa, Ontario. Yuchin in a few steps in front of the bag at first. Fastball just misses outer part of the plate. 2-2. Two -two. Rocks and fires. Fastball blows it by her for strike three. First base, number seven. First out of the inning. Taylor Riche. Her third strikeout of the game. Her 47th on the season to take the team lead. Taylor Riche, the left-hander from Bowmanville, Ontario. Squares, calls, called on this bunt attempt, strike one. St. Stephen's Catholic Secondary School, five foot five left field, Riche.
the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. She pulled the trigger a little late on that swing. By the time she thought about it, it was too late and by her. 0 oh 2 now. Thiessen looks over to the dugout for her sign. Relays it to Kressler. Rocks and fires. Outer part of the plate. Misses. Tall righty trying to frame that for home plate up. Couldn't get the call. Kressler rocks the one-two pitch. Little flare left side. Cowan tries to get to it. Had to avoid the base runner. It falls in for foul ball. We'll redo the one-two pitch. Avery Thompson on third base for the Seneca Sting. The one-two pitch. Fastball swing and a miss for strike three. Blew another one past her. Four strikeouts on the game now for Brianna Kressler. Two away. Runner still at third base. Top of the order. Koitsopoulos. Center fielder had a good inning defensively last inning. Chasing one down in the right center field for an out. And another catch to end the inning. She has four putouts already today in center field. The 1-0 pitch. Grounder back to the mound. Looks home. Gets a third out at first. Forgot how many outs there were. Hearing it from the bench a little bit, laughing as she comes off the field. Saints still lead at 6 nothing. We'll be back here on We Digital. No runs, no hits, a runner left on base. What can milk do? Well, it can turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh, well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whirr. And creme brulee, creme. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? No. No. I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit. But it was more your, your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally, but it won't help you grow as a person. Talking cannabis with your teen can be learned. Download our free brochure. You know what? Poison ivy grows naturally, but it's not good for you, is it? Find the answers you need at drugfreekidscanada.org. Back here, bottom of third inning, Saints lead 6-0. LaFleur steps into the box. She reached on an error her first time up and came around to score. She reached base all three times in the first game. Fielder's choice, single and an error, also had a stolen base. Her second year out of Essex, Ontario. First pitch in for Ball. Takes the second one, misses inside, 2-0. and oh. Alyssa Vanderwerf still on the mound. For the Seneca Sting. Corners playing about even with the bag. Outside part of the plate. In there for strike one. The Saints jumped on with the six runs in the first. They failed to score in the second. Ball misses. Another huge homer in the first inning from Amy Clayton. Second one over the scoreboard. This is high for ball four. Third base, number 12, Ryan Cowan. So Cowan steps to the plate. She reached on an error, also came in the score. She was 0 for 1 in the first game. She's playing third base. Misses outside, ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Vanderworth rocks and fires. Misses low. Cowan comes to the St. Clair Saints out of LaSalle, Ontario, her fourth year. 
in there for strike one. The 2 1 pitch to Cowan. A little fisted to the mound. Backspin to the catcher. Throws the first. Not in time. She beats it out. A lot of backspin on that ball. It started to come back to the now catcher, River Johnson. Baseman, Fires over the leash. Not in time for the infield single. So the Saints have something going here. First and second. Nobody out. That's number one. Ireland Tui. That's a pinch runner over at first base. Ireland Tui. 5-6 out of Windsor. Holy Names High School. Misses away, ball one. Lexi DiCarlo, she singled her first time. Misses high, two and oh. Nobody out here, bottom of the third. Inside, third baseman grabs it, goes for the tag, gets the Tag on the runner. Nowhere else to go. They record the first out. DiCarlo reaches on a fielder's choice. Big one hopper there. Warner is able to scoop it. Lafleur holds up smartly to avoid any chance for a double play. She stops, makes Warner come and tag her. But by then, two he's at second. DiCarlo reaches. So we got one out. Brousseau now. Hit up the middle. Shortstop grabs it. Steps on the bag for the force out for out number two. The shortstop number two. So Brousseau reaches on another fielder's Ray choice. Runners at the corners Murphy. now. Top of the order, Shaylin Murphy. A couple of flyouts. In the first both in the first inning. Second one went for a sacrifice fly. Brought in Raya Cowan for the sixth run. Take strike one. So two on, two outs here. Bottom of third inning. Saints lead 6 nothing. Murphy looking to cash it some more. It's a hard center field. Sliding catch. Makes the call. Nice catch by the center field. Delayed call by home plate umpire. But she slides to her knees for out number three. Another right, outstanding play by Koitsopoulos. We'll be back, fourth inning, here on We Digital. Mont's On Time Express has all of your delivery needs covered with a fleet of 50 vehicles, including cargo and sprinter vans, along with 24-foot straight trucks. It doesn't matter if the freight is big or small. Mont's On Time Express can guarantee safe and prompt delivery service throughout Canada and the United States. Licensed to broker freight throughout North America, Mont's On Time Express features same-day delivery service along with a state-of-the-art dispatching system and live GPS tracking assistance. Mont's is fully insured and Canadian bonded and has certifications with FAST, CTAT, PIP, and SmartWay. Mont's On Time Express is open 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. To get your delivery moving, contact Mont's On Time Express at www.montsontime.ca or call toll free at 877-250-8282. And we're back here, top of the fourth inning. Sting coming to bat. St. Clair Saints lead 6-0, game two of the doubleheader. Saints took the first game 13-3 to extend their record to 21-0 in OCAA regular season play. That to go along with a 5-0 CCSA tournament, leading to a gold medal in the national championship game against Western. Leading off for the Those are athletes of the week for the St. Clair Saints. Cameron O'Reilly, the left-handed pitcher for the Saints men's baseball team. And then Brianna Kressler, now at first base for the Saints, for women's softball, helped leading her team to a gold medal here at the college last week. So Cowan's on the mound now. Ground ball, shortstop. Murphy's there. Throws over the first in time. 
Shortstop number three, Katie Allen. Yuchin with the stretch at first. So it's Kressler actually back at third base. First out of the inning. Brings up Katie Allen, the shortstop. Looks at one down low for ball one. She grounded back to the mound the first time up. She was 0 for 3 in the first game. One O pitch from Cowan. Straight back to the screen. Strike one. Top of the fourth inning, Saints leading 6 0. Cowan rubs the ball up, try to get a good grip on that ball in this cold night in Windsor, Ontario. Inside, swing and a miss. Down and in, that's a tough pitch to hit. Allen, a cold pitch settlement, New Brunswick. It's ready for the 1 2 pitch. Reaches out, just gets a piece of it, fouls it off the screen to stay alive. Looked like that pitch was heading out of the strike zone. She wasn't sure, so she gave it a rip and was able to get a piece to redo the one-two pitch. One down here, nobody out. Sting up the bat. Line shot, right center field, base hit towards the gap. Balter cuts it off, fires it in. The catcher, number 16, and the Sting Rivers have their first hit of the ball game. She took that outside fastball, drills it in the right center field. Balls are doing a good job to cut that off. Lafleur backing her up just in case. River Johnson now, the catcher. Cowan rocks and fires off the screen, strike one. Johnson out of Kitchener, Ontario, five foot ten. Holy Trinity Catholic High School. Cowan rocks and fires. Fly ball, center field, deep. Balter's under it, makes the catch. Third base number seventeen, Cassidy Warner. So two down now here in the top of the fourth inning. Saints lead it six to nothing. That ball was hit hard. Balter got a good jump on it, camped underneath it to keep the runner at first. Warner now the hitter. Misses high. She's 0 for 1. She was 1 for 3 in the first game. Georgetown, Ontario. Christ the King Catholic Secondary School. The 1-0 pitch. Hit hard in the left center field. Balter tracking it in time to make the catch. Nice running catch by Balter, and the side is retired. Heading to the bottom of the fourth inning, St. Clair still leading 6-0. We'll be back here on We Digital. What can milk do? Well, it can turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh, well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whir and creme brulee creme. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? No. No. I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit. But it was more your, your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally, but it won't help you grow as a person. Talking cannabis with your teen can be learned. Download our free brochure. You know what? Poison ivy grows naturally, but it's not good for you, is it? Find the answers you need at drugfreekidscanada.org. And we're back here. Bottom of the fourth inning action. The Saints lead 6 0. The second game of this twin bill. Saints took the first game 13-3 over the Seneca Sting.
lead 6 nothing here in game two. Balter leading things off. Hit pop up over a third base foul. Balter had a good ending last inning, tracking a couple balls down in the outfield. She has three putouts today. She's 0 for 1 in a walk. She scored in the first. Had a pair of hits and three runs in the first game. Got her batting average to start this game up to 470. The 1 1 now. Hit hard to short. Off the glove of the shortstop, wheels and fires the first, not in time. The base, number 13, Brianna. Base hit, Sierra Balter. That was hit hard. Shortstop got a glove on it to knock it down. Recovered nicely, but the speedy balls are with the infield single. So that brings up Brianna Kressler. One on, nobody out. This is high, ball one. Kressler now has 46 RBIs on the season. Hit hard to shortstop. Flipped over to second. In time for the force out, wheels and turns. Not nearly in time, Your fielder's choice. Player, number 55, Amy Clayton. That well, brings up Amy Clayton now. She's one for two with another bomb in the first inning. A three-run homer over the doubleheader. She has three homers and seven RBIs to extend her season lead to 53. Misses outside. They'd be wise to stay out there against the big right-handed power hitter. Starts with an open stance. Hard shot in the hole. Base hit in the left field. Hill up with it. That's the scamper back to second base. Kressler base, safe. Three, Amy Clayton with another Nugent. base hit. Jacqueline Yuchin now. That's five hits over the double header for Amy. Yuchin now takes strike one. She's one for two in this second game. Two for three in the first game of the doubleheader. She comes up with two runners on board with only one out. Hit hard to shortstop into the gap. That's going to score one. Kressler scores easy. Amy hustles over to third base. Clayton safe at third. RBI double for Jacqueline Yuchin. She ripped it. Once that got past the shortstop, the outfielders had no chance of tracking that ball down. So Judy Lafleur reached on an error and a walk. Runners at second and third. Pop just over the screen. Look out in the bleachers. Lafleur out of Essex, Ontario. Essex District High School. Little chopper, the shortstop, tough in between hop. They're not going to get the speed of Lafleur. The runners don't advance, but again, you see Judy Lafleur's speed. 12, she puts anything on the ground, she's going to beat that out more times than not. As soon as that second hop hit, it was all over for shortstop Katie Allen. She didn't have a chance. So the bases are now loaded for Raya Cowan. Hit hard down the left field line, just foul. Cowan out of LaSalle, Ontario. Four hits in the inning for the Saints. They have the bags juiced here in the bottom of the fourth. Hit hard in the left field, it's back. It's gone! Grand Slam, Raya Cowan! The Saints lead it 11-1. The Saints bench empties. 
celebrating at home plate as Raya Cowan hits a bomb over the left field wall. Her third homer of the season. Now batting your second baseman number 22, Alexis DiCarlo. So the Saints have broken this one open as they lead it 11 to nothing in the bottom of the fourth inning. To Carlo now, swing and a miss. The 0-1 pitch to DiCarlo, hit hard down the right field line, drifts foul. One out, bottom of the fourth inning. The Saints now sit three hits short of setting the all-time single season hits lead for a team at 290. They sit at 287. If they don't get it tonight, they'll easily get that tomorrow against... There's another one. Short stuff. Second baseman makes the play. Chloe Furco able to make the catch on the line drive for out number two. two. Julia Brousseau. All sorts of records falling for the St. Clair Saints. Kressler now with 40 runs scored to take the team an all-time lead. They now have 227 RBIs this season as a team. Breaking their own record with every RBI this season. It just to the Saints dugout, one and one. So 11 nothing on 11 hits. Brousseau, one for two, A little pop up over the screen, one and two. Brousseau, second year from St. Anne's High School, Lakeshore, Ontario. Vanderwerf still on the mound, pops straight back, catcher gives it a look. Just over our camera bay, behind home plate. Count remains one and two with two outs. Reminder, catch all the action on WeDigital.ca, the We Digital Facebook page, We Digital YouTube page. We're going to be here for another doubleheader at two and four against Conestoga Condors. The one two pitch. Hit hard in the left field. Just curves foul. At Acumen Stadium tomorrow night at seven o'clock. You'll see the St. Clair Saints taking on the Hamilton Hurricanes in semifinal action in the Ontario Football Conference. The Saints look to come back after last year's heartbreaking loss in the Ontario Finals. The 1 2 pitch inside misses. 2 2. So nobody on base here after that grand slam by Cowan. Got two outs, two and two count to number two. Julia Brousseau. Inside again, just misses. Runs the count to full. Vanderworth hanging tough on the mound against his hard hitting Saints lineup. Hard hit third baseman in the hole, base hit. Another single for Julia Brousseau, her second on the day. Murphy. That brings the all-time hit total to two, the season hit total to 288 for the Saints. Two away from the OCAA record, the tie. Shaylin Murphy, the batter. Murphy, 0 for 2. Three flyouts to center. One was a sacrifice fly for an RBI. In there for a strike. One and one. So Brousseau's on first. 
We've got two down, one one count. Top of the order, Shay Lynn Murphy, the shortstop. Murphy started the day about 500, hit hard to second, flips over in time for the fielder's choice. The inning is over. So we're through four complete innings. The Saints lead it 11 to nothing. We'll be back here on We Digital. The first kiss. She's thinking about a million things, like should I lean in or let him? I close my eyes or open them but for him he's only thinking about one thing did she have peanut butter for lunch Back here, top of the fifth inning, St. Clair Sports Park, the campus of St. Clair College. The Saints lead 11 to nothing against the Seneca Sting. Saints are now three outs away here in the fifth inning from finishing this doubleheader off. They won the first game 13 to 3. Left hander Chloe Furco from Stony Creek comes to the plate. Cowan still on the mound. New second baseman, Ashley Brill from St. Thomas to Villanova, takes over at second base. Burko 0 for 1, a strikeout. She had a hit in the first game in two at-bats. The 0-1 pitch. Fouled back off the screen, 0-2. So Cowan trying to nail this one down. So far, the Saints have a one-hit shutout going combined. The 0-2 pitch. Just misses low. One and two now. The count. Nobody out here in the top of the fifth inning. Cowan leans back, rocks and fires, hit hard, just past the second baseman in the center field for a single. Furco is aboard. The Sting have their second hit of the ball game. On that fastball, Brill gave it a chase, couldn't get there in time. Falter tosses it back to the infield. Furco on first base. Swing and a miss. High fastball. Blew it past her for strike one. Thompson reached on an error in the third inning. Stole a base. The 0 1 pitch. Little dribbler left side. Two strikes now. Saints had two big innings. They put up six in the first inning. Zero, a couple of zeros, but in the fourth inning put up another five to take a big 11-0 lead here against the Seneca Sting. Fisted against a screen foul. They look to keep two runs from crossing the plate to try and end this after five innings. Riot Cowan looks in for her sign. Leans back. Rocks and fires. Little dribbler, left side. That's going to be a tough play. Throw to first. Stretch. In time. 
Nice play by Ryan Cowan to jump off the mound, fire that ball over to first baseman Jacqueline Uchin. Little dribbler just down the third baseline. Good strong throw to first base. Uchin with the stretch for the first out of the inning. Furco moves to second base. Down low, ball one. Vanderwerf, she's pitching today from Oshawa, Ontario. Maxwell Heights Secondary School. Right-hander in the box, ready for the 1-0 pitch. Hit hard, in the hole, base hit left field. Runner holds that third, hit hard between short and third for, for the third hit of the ball game. Kressler gave it a dive, but couldn't come up with that ball at third base. So runners at the corners now. Looks like we have a pinch hitter. Now Riche is up to bat. There's a pinch runner over on first base. That's Taylor Stewart. She pitched in the first game. She's going to run for Vanderwerf. At first base, number 12, Taylor Stewart. So Stewart takes over at first base. Furk goes on third. One out. Saints still lead 11 to nothing. One down. Cowan rocks and fires down low. Good block by Thiessen. Keep the runners where they are. Thiessen behind the plate, her first year with the St. Clair Saints. One and one now. Saints still lead 11-0. Trying to keep these runners from scoring to end this one in the fifth. Cowan finds a sign she likes, leans back, rocks and fires. Little dribbler down the first baseline, foul. Riche struck out her first time. Didn't get to hit her in the first game of the doubleheader. Chokes up a little on the bat, the lefty in the box, looking for the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Second out of the inning. Center fielder number one, Alexia Klitsopoulos. So the Saints are one out away from ending this one. Koitsopoulos, the leadoff hitter, she's 0 for 2. He's had a fine game in the eight defensively, unable to get on base so far in the second game of the doubleheader. Pair of hits in the first game. Check swing, holds up for ball one. Saints looking to extend their record in the regular season of OCAA action to 22 and 0 with a victory here. If they can record this final out. Ryan Cowan rocks and fires in there for strike one. One and one. Runners still at the corners with two down. Ryan Cowan with the starting pitcher in the background, Brianna Kressler. Cowan trying to nail this one down for a win for Kressler. Fires one in there, swings way late for strike two. The Saints have one more strike to end this ball game. Seneca down to their last strike. Cowan finds a sign she likes from Thiessen. Rocks and fires. A little change up away, misses. Tried to pull the string on that one. See if they can get the right hander to chase. Koitsopoulos holds up. She's grounded the short and pitcher in this second game. Cowan rocks, fires, fastball off the screen. We'll do it again. Two on, two outs, two, two count. 11 to nothing, Saints lead. One strike away 
from nailing this one down. Cowan with the pitch. Foul back. She's hanging tough. Koitsopoulos trying to stay alive. Hill's on deck if she gets a chance. Cowan rubs up that softball. Let's try and get this final strike. Finds one she likes. Leans back. Rocks and fires. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Throw to first to complete it. In time. And the Saints win it. 11 to nothing to extend their season to 22 and 0. We'll be back here tomorrow as the Saints take on the Conestoga Condors at 2 and 4 o'clock. And we also have OSC semifinal action as the Hamilton Hurricanes will do battle against the St. Clair Saints over at Acumen Stadium at 7 o'clock. My name is Dan Dominguez. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to We Digital, and we'll see you tomorrow afternoon here at St. Clair College.